Wow, look at this jug. Isn't this a nice jug? This is called a gallon jug. Okay, a jug this size is a gallon jug. I usually buy milk by the gallon. The gallon. Actually, it's not a real gallon because a real gallon is equal to four quarts, right? But look at this. It's not four quarts, it's four liters. The metric system uses liters and the imperial system uses quarts. So actually this is not a real gallon, but it's pretty close to a gallon. So I'm just taking a look at this milk jug hmm, and I'm noticing a few things. I'm noticing the plastic is pretty flimsy. Look at that, look at the plastic. It's pretty flimsy. Flimsy means weak, not strong. It's, uh, I mean, just look at that, right? I can just, I can just bend it. Look at that. It's pretty flimsy. Um, but if you take a look at the bottom here of the jug, you'll see these ridges. Okay, take a look. There's a ridge there and uh, a ridge here. I think that's to reinforce the jug, okay? Because the plastic is pretty flimsy, they need to do something to reinforce it. They need to give the jug more reinforcement, more reinforcement, right? So those ridges sort of give the jug some, some reinforcement. Okay, now I wonder if, if this milk has already expired. Hmm. I'm trying to find the expiry date. Where is the expiry date? Oh, here it is. There's the expiry date. November 7th. Well, it's not November 7th yet. Good thing I finished drinking all the milk. I'm gonna have strong bones, right? That's what they always say. Milk gives you strong bones. Now, another word for expiry date is expiration date or best before date. See here it says best before, okay? So you can say the expiry date, the expiration date, or the best before date, okay? So you need to drink all the milk before the expiry date, okay? So how do you drink milk? Well, first you need to unscrew the cap, okay? Look at that, that's called the cap. Then after you unscrew the cap, you pour the milk into a cup or a glass cup and glass mean the same thing. Okay? Then after you're finished, you need to remember to screw the cap back on. Screw the cap back on. Otherwise, um, otherwise, I don't know, what would happen? What would happen if you forgot to screw the cap back on? If you put it back in the fridge without screwing the cap on? I don't know. Maybe your milk would get a bit fridgy tasting. Yeah, I think it would taste a bit fridgy after a few days. It wouldn't go bad. You know, if the milk was in the fridge, I don't think it would go bad, but it would taste a bit fridgy. You know when you leave something in the fridge for a while, it sort of gets that taste we call that fridgy. Now I'm just noticing here on the sides of the jug, it's really smooth, okay? It's smooth, but here on top and on the corners, it's a bit grainy. It's a bit grainy, right? You can, can you hear that here? It's smooth and right over here, it's, uh, it's a bit grainy. You know, it almost feels like Braille. Braille is the writing system used by blind people. Okay, so if you can't, um, if you can't see, uh, then you can still read, right? You, you read with your finger, right? You move your finger along the little bumps in the page, okay? And you can read like that. So it almost feels like Braille with these little bumps. Okay, so I would say this, this material on top here is a bit grainy, but on the sides, it's nice and smooth. Oh, hey, the handle is hollow. Take a look at that. 
See the 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 handle is hollow. Milk can go inside the handle. Wow. What a time to be alive. What are scientists going to think of next? They invented a hollow handle. That is so cool. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, now take a look at this label. Look at this nice label here. Okay, it says uh, fresh phrase. Phrase? Do you know what phrase means? Phrase is French. Okay, so in Canada here, all the labels are in English and French. Okay, see it says nutrition facts there? Well, right underneath there, it says valeur nutritive. Valeur, valeur nutritive. Look at that. So you can see English and French on, on everything, right? The ingredients, there's English and French. Okay, let's see. Whoa, five grams of fat. Look at that. Five grams of fat. I better not drink too much milk. Otherwise, I'll get fat. Okay, so what else can we say about this milk jug? We talked about the texture, right? It's a bit grainy. The plastic is a bit flimsy, you know, but uh, it's nice. There are some ridges here on the bottom to give it some reinforcement. It's got a nice pink cap. I don't know why they chose pink. Maybe so that you notice it when you're walking through the store. You're not planning to buy milk, but suddenly you see a bright pink cap and you think, yeah, I need to buy some milk. <laughs> so it's got a nice pink label here so that you'll notice it <laughs> when you're going to the store. It's a good marketing tactic a marketing tactic to get your money. They don't care about, you know, if you drink milk, they just want your money, right? So anyway, there's a, a milk jug, okay? Now this isn't a carton. The, the ones out of paper, like the one liter or two liter, uh, those, those ones are, are called cartons. This is not a carton, this is a jug, okay? Um, actually, there can be two liter jugs too, maybe even one liter. Yeah, I think you could buy a one liter jug, a two liter jug, and a four liter jug. But uh, for cartons, you can only buy one liter and two liter cartons. You can't buy a four liter carton. I don't know. If you've seen a four liter carton, let me know down there in the comments. Actually, some places in Canada sell milk in bags. Right on my trip across Canada this summer. Remember I showed you guys the, the milk in the bags over in Ontario, I think. In Eastern Canada, people drink a lot of milk from bags. Here in Western Canada, we don't really do that. We just drink our milk out of jugs, right? So anyway, that's how to describe a milk jug. You know, a lot of people, they, they learn English, but they don't know how to describe something simple like this, you know? Just like a simple milk jug. Well, I want to help you learn how to describe simple things. So I want you to tell me, which thing would you like me to teach you how to describe in my next video? Just think and let me know down in the comments. Maybe you want to learn how to describe something in your house, some, something even as simple as a jug of milk, right? So just look at something and try to think, how would, how would I describe that in English? Look at a bottle, or look at look at some food, or or look at anything. Just look around you, and try to describe that in English. And if you have a problem, then let me know down in the comments, and I'll try to help you. Try to make a video describing that thing. Okay, so I look forward to reading your comments. What you want me to help you describe next? And I hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.